There is no guarantee local lodges and dining can reopen June 1st, but the county has a plan. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, May is heating up with the highest temperatures of the season in Summit and along the Front Range. The crystallized weather center in Dillon hit 76 degrees yesterday, 74 today, while Denver cracked 90 degrees, three weeks earlier than usual, tying a record from 2009. A weak overnight freeze has the 10 Mile Creek and Blue River flowing up to 150 CFS higher than average, and yet snowpack is holding steady, 98% of average at Fremont Pass, 112% at Hoosier Pass, and 133% at Copper Mountain. Warm blustery conditions today put Vail and much of the high country under red flag warning. Eagle, Park, Lake, and Clear Creek counties all have fire restrictions today, including Stage 2 in Eagle, banning open fires and charcoal grills. There are no restrictions for Summit and Grand counties. A historic saloon in downtown Georgetown was gutted by fire last week. Multiple sources report the Red Ram restaurant and saloon, built in 1889, caught fire early Friday morning, destroying the building and dozens of signatures left on the ceiling by visiting celebrities like Walt Disney and John Denver. The fire is under investigation, with no leads yet on a cause. Locals are fuming over racism at Dillon City Market last week when an unidentified man wore a KKK hood as a face mask. More than 150 people have signed a petition on Change.org asking local officials to publicly denounce the moment, caught on video last Thursday and shared on social media. County Commissioner Elizabeth Lawrence at today's board meeting. I want to show our community that we think this is important, we take things like this seriously, and it's not who we want to be. The board agrees racism has no place in Summit, but they also agree with Assistant County Manager Sarah Vane, who says the hooded man should not overshadow other systemic racism. And to kind of acknowledge the one event with this idiot and not address those other more pervasive problems, that would maybe be concerning. Dillon police confirmed the man left the store without incident and no charges will be filed. More than 300 Western Resort Town Lodges just suffered the biggest blow in decades. Analytics firm Destimetrics reports occupancy fell 95% in April, while rate was down 43%, causing the industry to lose nearly 98% of its revenue year over year, equal to hundreds of thousands of dollars. There is some good news. Revenue since November ended just 15 points behind last year, and a rate is up more than 7%. But also more bad, summer bookings through September are way down, 167% compared to last year. Summit Health officials last Friday joined a growing list of counties looking for leniency by asking the state for a waiver to reopen restaurants, hotels, and rentals on June 1st, which raised this question at today's board meeting. So why would we need a variance approval on June 1? We don't allow short-term rentals right now. Right, so why couldn't we change our own public health order? That was Commissioner Lawrence. The answer from County Manager Scott Vargo. We just don't know what the governor's intentions are. In other words, there is no guarantee the governor will greenlight rentals and dining on May 25th, and a waiver gives Summit the permission to sidestep any statewide order. The waiver has not yet been granted. Vargo also gave commissioners the latest on spring skiing today. Pepper has some interest in not public skiing, but uh, ski team training type skiing. As for Breckenridge, Breck is still debating uh, internally what they may or may not consider. That leaves A Basin as the only public option. The governor decides May 25th if chairlifts can open by June. Ski areas are not part of Summit's waiver request. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, for the first time in 20 years, the Firecracker 50 mountain bike race on 4th of July has been canceled. Race director Jeff Westcott calls the cancellation a moral issue, not a logistical one, with no way to guarantee virus health for all 1,000-plus riders. Meanwhile, the midweek Summit Mountain Challenge Series is getting an emergency facelift. The opening event, the Frisco Roundup, is tentatively scheduled for Saturday, June 13th, Get updates at mavsports.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.